Hey, what's up guys? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So Vegas, it seems, finally forced to be on the rebuilding side of things as they and Anaheim jump past Seattle in the draft lottery, but nothing too crazy. No eight or nine spot jumping way up into the top three this time around. And uh, yeah, we're just, again, going to use this draft to get value type players that we can likely trade unless, you know, we'll see. JT Miller retires. Oh my goodness. He was still very, very good. All right. He did drop down to top nine. So he was going to start to decline quite heavily, but I mean, he could have played another year. Look at all those X factors still. Sagan, Bushnevich, Horvat, uh, Tomas Hurdle. Nelson, Monahan, Burakovsky, geez, Jones, Duclair. Bjorkstrom retires. Wow. Devon Taves. Good gracious. The names that are going now. All righty. Goalies. Uh, Bobrovsky. Hella suck. Uh, Rage Boy. What a mustache. <laughs> Actually, quite a few notable goaltenders. Not all starters, obviously, but, you know, names in the NHL. Currently, that is. Okay. So all that's done. Monaghan will become a coach. Let's see, coaching retirement. We did have a Springfield retirement. But that's it. And we will go to pre-draft enemies. Because I don't even know what's coming in this draft class. It was all auto-scout. And, uh, yeah, I didn't get any medium elites. Steel-wise, at least. Some possibilities in there. We got one low elite in there. Leadership ability. So we'll have him pinned. This guy's not likely to be a low elite, judging by the draft ranking. This guy has a chance, but he is a little bit outside the range. So we're going to have to do a lot of blind picks here, by the looks of it. No top six steals. And a borderline top six steal here. We'll have him pinned. All right, let me go to here and see if there's any anything I'd want to interview. In optimal, not really. This guy only, but he's 19, and that doesn't, wait. Hmm. Curious. I'm just, I was looking at his shooting senses, but like, with only being two ticks, I doubt it's anything special. We're going to have to take a lot of blind picks here. I'm going to take, I'm going to look for some guys to just pin. Goalie, obviously. Grand Pierre, definitely. Yeah, for your ETA. Not super amazing. I think there were some good one ticks in decent locations. Yeah, Shipley, Keatley. This guy, this guy. Those are guys to keep an eye on. These two, this guy as well. He's a maybe. Yeah, he is indeed a maybe. Because a five-year ETA at that range, if he's surrounded by guys who have better ETA, but less likely. Some of these guys back here aren't too bad. This might be a bit tougher to find some value. And when it comes to, like, our pick, it's going to be quite a late first. So we'll probably maybe even want to take uh, the low elite with that pick. Oh. Man, if we can get both of them. This guy is more than likely going to be an elite, like, 
two year ETA. There's no way he's a medium starter, right? <laughs> All right, well, I'm not going to bother interviewing, but I did want to get a, couple, a few guys pinned so I have an idea of things I want to take uh, blind picks on. So, yeah, Sharks went on to win the Cup, so we did lose to the Cup champs. Some consolation, I guess. Ugh, it's hard to look at it like that. Oh, we got the Presidents. They played Boston in the finals. Oh, my God. So it's like the alternate reality of 2019. If the Sharks won, they would have played Boston, and, and then they went. If only. Uh, Art Ross goes to Matthews as well as the Hearts. Hughes, four years in a row getting the Norris. Marner with the Lady Bing. Yeah, that Jackson guy got the Calder. Thornton with the Cod Smite. That's that young, young winger they had on the top line. Vezina to Swayman. McGratton and Doshtal get the William M. Jennings together. Mm. Uh, Reeves with the Masterton. Sharks coach gets the Jack Adams. That's actually one of the fewer times that we've seen a uh, cup winner, their coach win it. It usually goes to a team that just like overperformed. And maybe the Sharks did overperform. Yeah, it didn't, they didn't look like they had a tremendous team. Fantilli got the Selkie. Uh, Matthews with the Ted Lindsay and Bedard three years in a row with the Maurice Richard. Uh, we did not win the Calder Cup. They went to Milwaukee. But uh, we... <laughs> We just win a bunch of hardware regardless. I want to see. I don't think any of our players. Uh, Kaltzianen. Best defenseman, okay. Bastionov, best goaltender. It was Leanders last year. Okay. And Bastionov again. All righty. So there's all the awards. And we'll just hop right into the draft here. And see what the heck we can... Oh, wait. I wanted to... I think I wanted to check. Uh, maybe not. No, I think I already took care of all that. Yeah, Doc, Wierenski. I don't think Doc's gonna want, like, a... No, he still wants a shit deal for us. Still just a pure rental, basically, for that third line. Doubt Lindstein. Nope. We can still tender him. Maybe run it back. Yeah, we'll have to see what our greatest needs are. Alright, yeah, we're good. Yeah, so let's get into the draft. See what we're able to do here. Our pick is going to be... Yeah, the 30th. And then, I don't think our second was anything good, if we even had one. I think it's just our own. Yeah, no, it is just our own. We can technically acquire another pick. Depends on what we want to pursue. Those thirds are useful. I could try to... You know what? Yeah, I think with the 30th, we'll grab one of those guys. I think I want to package the second with, like... The fifth is probably the best option. I don't think that's enough to get us up into the range I want to be in. I want to keep these three picks for potential medium elite steel guys. Yeah, we're just swinging for the fences, looking for value here. We'll see if we're able to move up that second combined with the fifth. It might be tough with those two. With that valuation. I want to hold on to the 6 and the 7 for the possible low elites too. If, if I can. I probably have some junk. So we'll figure. We'll get that figured out. Let's see. We can just take care of that right now. That'd be 36. That should be good. I do kind of have to target blocks here. Yeah, he's at 40. 36 should be just fine. That's four in front, and our scout says he could be a bit later. Where's that goaltender? 39, perfect, yeah. Yeah, so 36 should be fine. Again, we kind of have to target blocks here. So this is going to be a little bit tough because it's a 62. Combined with the 5, I don't think that's enough. 
I'll try. Eh, could be. It's close. Everything is matching blocks. Maybe. Not quite. Okay. Let's see. Do I have anything? Uh, hello. Who moved to? <laughs> sure. God moved to Ohio Elite. Yeah, we got plenty of junk here. Throwing lamb. Not quite. Unfortunately, they're going to tell me all these guys are the same. So it has to be a higher value guy like Fast. Medium 9. There you go. So we're able to move for that. And that positions us to get those two guys that we want. And then the rest, yeah. So we're going to actually maybe have some limited picks here. I did have a lot of guys. Let me just skip this pick so I can look. 83 overall. Sniper goes first overall. How many of those guys did I have pinned in the back end? They got the 195. 208. That was it, huh? For those really late guys? No, the 215 as well. So having another one pick in the latter rounds would be good. And I could pretty much easily require that. What number is this? Just so I can get my bearings. Oh, wow, yeah. Say this pick. Yeah, that'll be fine. We'll be able to guarantee ourselves what we want here. We'll... Ah, they don't want them. Well, that's actually can be okay, so we could package multiple ones together. Lamb and Lang, let's say. Might not even need both of them. They might say they ripped me off. I can't even... Yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to even do another guy in there. So, fine. We'll do those three dudes for that one pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Okay, so we don't have max picks, but that's pretty much all I can all I can get my hands on. At least I think we don't. We should have eight. My math is correct. Yeah. But we're in good positions for the guys that have a chance to pan out. At least for our needs, which is value. Let us see. So let's just fly up to our pick. We'll look back, see what went. 283 snipers. One's a center. That goes to Vegas. Winger playmaker. Two-way forward, two-way D. Nice potential on Beekov. Klein is also... Um, Sorry, I meant overall. Klein's also pretty good. Those are actually true NHL ready guys. 79. Any medium elite steals? Doesn't look like it. Mm, Carp. So first and foremost, we're going to grab that goalie, Kristanovic. I just have a real good feeling he's going to be an elite. And he starts really high overall. That should mean his value is even better. Cam and Kristanovic. There he is. Yeah, 72 overall medium elite, man. That's great trade bait, that is. Beautiful. That's really good trade bait. Definitely one of the higher overall EA generated goalies that you'll see. I like it. I'm not going to bother looking at San Jose's pick. Because we know that's going to just be a... Uh, probably a top 9 or top 6. D. Yeah, especially with the ones who went there. Okay, our next pick, we will grab that low elite Langenbrunner. Who's just kind of a basic low elite at this range. Who knows if we'll even use him. But let's snag him regardless. Yeah, he's not even good overall. 62, that's quite low for what you can find in the second round. 64 plus is usually what you're aiming for. But hey, the potential's good. <laughs> If we go to the 80, I think. Hold on. I don't think I really need to maneuver more. The guys that I was targeting. I think one might be like 70-something. Yeah. But hard to say with what is... He could be. Oh, yeah. They're actually... We had a multiple who were actually much earlier. So I may have to settle for... 
the other ones. Yeah, I may in fact miss out, but we got right here as well. Ooh. 19-3 year guaranteed. That's more than likely top six, actually. Or something completely not good. Man. Is actually a bit tougher than I thought it would be. Yeah, this guy's ETA. I, I this is a, one I'm not so sure about. This is one I can skip. It's all really hard to guess. I should probably just pick and play since I don't know. I don't want to. I don't have much other value to cough up. I think we'll go for quantity for what we have left. Let's see if maybe maybe one of those guys is indeed, but no, Grand Pierre wasn't. And I think I made the right choice there in not trading up for things that are just far from guarantees. And there wasn't a whole heck of a lot at the tail end of the second round either. Medium four in there. That's a pretty nice steal. Is he nine? Yeah, he's 20. But still, pretty decent pick there in the late second. Whoa. All right, so we make our pick here. This is now this is where we want to go into the uh the 100 plus is most likely since those that first crop was nothing. Right is a good pick. Yeah, the ETA is weird, but that could actually benefit us. He's likely only going to be top 6. But I'm still going to go for it cuz it's it seems like an outlier in this range. We're just going to go in order. Right. Tomerns and Keeler. Maybe even pick the goaltender because he has a better chance than some of the others. Let's go for right. Ah, bam. Top nine. Ooh, that's a bit unfortunate. At least he's a grinder. <laughs> but yeah, I was hoping for at least a top six right there. Damn, with him being 19. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, well. Our next pick at 94. At the very least, I haven't missed anything. So we got that going for us. I'll have to probably choose between Keeler and Sundin. Or choose between Tomerns and Sundin. But this guy's got that guarantee five year. Oh, wait. No, no. Oh, yeah. What? Ah, low. I don't know about the low here, man. The five year ETA is good. But, ha. Uh... It was actually kind of tough. What's my picks? What are my pick rankings? I'd kind of have to take him here. I only got two more. Shoot. <sighs> Medium elites are going to be better than low elites, that's for sure. Could be a low elite here, but he's going to be... It almost looks like a guarantee because he's 5-year ETA at this range for the low. And I don't think the low 6s and 4s would be 5-year in that range. But the medium elites are much more interesting. So that's what I'm going to go for. I'll try for Keeler and then Sundin. I don't think either of them are going to pan out. But we got to swing for the fences here and hope. All right. At least he's a top six. So, okay. That's at least okay value. Yeah, this is kind of leading me to believe that maybe there was no medium elite steals. Because we haven't seen one yet. Nothing that we missed. All right, some fringe starters in there, which doesn't bode extraordinarily well. Yeah, it looks like the uh, sixes are the steals. Okay, well, there. Wait, where was he? <laughs> I thought I saw forty. 
Ah, shit. Well, I had no idea about this guy. He was right, he was literally right next to the guy we drafted. We had the right idea. But apparently the wrong dude. So Anna, I'm making out like bandits. I thought I saw a 47. No, it was a 47 starter, okay. Let's see what I mean. Those, uh, those top sixes and top fours don't have five-year ETA. That guy is still available. But, I mean, the five-year could kick in right now. I still think going for the goalie is the better bet. Although, that hasn't been great. But the thing is, he's 19. And if that's five-year ETA, he's 100% going to be an elite. He had kind of ridiculous stats. <laughs> yeah, this guy could be, but I don't, I don't know. I'd rather go for the uh, better chance. And we got it. Elite. So there we go. More value. So yeah, we missed out on one medium elite in that late third. That was, that was a tough one. Again, I, I, we had essentially the right idea. We went for a five-year ETA guy in that range. And, well, the next pick was that five-year ETA medium elite. Unfortunate. Well, that's how she goes sometimes. And that looks like the only one in this draft. So tough to find, especially without the scouting. Was that the guy? Tom Ernst. Yeah, I think that was the guy. Oh my god, he was even... That's not five-year ETA. That was him, right? I'm 100% right? That was that was his name. I'm pretty damn sure. Yeah. That was legitimately him. Okay. Yeah, he was... <laughs> that's not... That is that... I mean, maybe with his potential, it's five-year ETA. That's weird. All right. We're going to go for those lows now way, way back. Okay, we got a lot to look through here. See if anything crazy went. Another elite goaltender. Apparently, better goalie draft than player draft. In the way of elites, nothing there. We didn't have a five, so we can look through this whole round. I think the only elite possibility that we'll see is a goalie. And added fives are just no man's land for a lot of drafts. Look at that. All right, our pick here, the 190th. This is where we're going to select all three of these guys. Dayton first. Honestly, if I get two out of three, I'd be very happy. Starting off good. First one's the low elite. Boston gets a grinder, low nine. Next on the docket is Sweetland. Uh, is this guy going to be too late? Oh, he's fucking 20 anyway. Uh, Sweetland. Didn't see, because we got the last pick. Come on, come on, come on. There we go! We already, we already nailed two out of three. Both Dayton and Sweetland were low elites. And our last pick, 222. No, no, that's right, right? Or wait, what is this guy? Was he earlier than 222? Yeah, a little bit. He's honestly pretty shit, unless he has three year ETA. There might be a better option. There is not, <laughs> at least in what we can grab. Except for Ald, who's essentially the same five, yeah, five year ETA at 20. That's probably. Yeah, he also might just be absolute ass. Any two tick nines that stand out? Nothing. They're all kind of without outside of our range. Yeah, they're all they're all around that. We did just draft some guys. So I can honestly just go for this pick. And we just grabbed some more garbage. Does that guy have the least amount of value? It looks like it. it looks like he'd have to be uh, 
Yeah, if he's unsigned, he's going to have to be signed. So let's just get rid of him. Yeah. This so they'll they'll be they'll I you know what? Yeah. Don't rip me off. Give me another 7 for next year. There you go. Now you're not ripping me off. Okay. So basically, I just wanted to I think go for the guy I had my eyes on. He may not pan out, especially if the ETA is better. But there's really not anything else around here that interests me. Hold on, let me check that. This guy. 19. Okay. Doesn't show a whole heck of a lot about him. Since this guy is so close to the other ones, he might be actually be a better bet. Because he's 18, 5-year ETA, as those other guys were. But he's a bit later. Hmm. He's guaranteed 5-year ETA. I'm going to go with him. I might be wrong on it. No, I'm not. <laughs> I got 3 out of 3, baby. I got 3 out of 3. Hell to the yeah. Went with the correct age bracket with them all right next to each other. We got three out of three. I said I'd be happy with two out of three. We nailed all three. Wasn't the guy I had in mind, but... Yeah, speaking of which, I do want to see if that guy I had in mind... I should still have him pinned, actually. Okay, Havilid. Yeah, let's actually see if I... I don't know if he's gonna be. I think he could be absolute dog crap. I don't think he has that low elite. Come on, where's he at? Show me Havilid. Vindicate me. Oh my god. Should be coming up soon. Oh no, no, no. Way later. I hate slow simming, but I can't just like sim to the very, very end and then look back. It's stupid. <laughs> oh my god, is he not gonna go? I was right. I was correct. Might as well see if anyone else gets lucky here. Since we're almost towards the end. Doesn't look like it. But hey, oh. Well, it's not the best value. We did get two elite goalies. That's great value. That's at least one player. One quality player we could trade for. And no one else got lucky. So we, we killed it in the later rounds. Those blind picks though, baby. I'm a little, I'm still upset about the key, getting Keeler and then that, you know, defenseman medium elite being right next to him. But that was the only medium elite in the draft. We obviously didn't have him scouted. And I take a little bit of a pride that I was, you know, had the right idea of waiting for that range. I just picked wrong. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to keep you. Yeah. Kind of want to keep you. That should hold on to him. And yeah, it's just the goalie coach for the AHL, I figured. So that's easy enough to replace. Holy shit. It's a hell of a lot of scouts. Just get them all back. That was a lot of scouts, man. Holy crap. Look at this. It's more than an entire screen. That never happens. Jeez! How many is this? 12? Yeah, I think so. 11 or 12. Good gracious. More than half my scouting team. Alright, into the resign phase. Of course, we do have a little bit to do. But not a whole heck of a lot. Quincy is in fucking 90 overall. Good God. Where the hell did, uh... Oh, Varlamov changed to a medium elite from a high six, and he's eight and... <laughs> oh, my God. They're on... 
filthy contracts. Quincy's going to be tough, but that's okay, because either him or Varlamov. Oh, my God, and he gained even more X-Factors. Oh, my God, look at that shot. 99 accuracies. Quincy, how you looking? Snappy, bounce back, shrug it off, elite edges, born leader. Interesting. He kind of still seems like the third liner in my eyes, even though he jumped up that high. Which kind of sucks because of the money, but we're we're getting a deal for Varlamov, so we'll see. We'll see what we can do with Quincy. Good God. <laughs> and yeah, this is the year where we can... The best part about that deal was we can control uh, Felica's contract. Uh, and this is pretty much we let go of Warensky and Doc because we have Pelika. We're for sure letting go of Doc. I there's no way we'll be able to afford Warensky with everything else. Plus, he is gonna begin to decline more. I'm gonna tender Lindstein once again. Uh, no, he wasn't our depth piece. It was Martin, who's still listed as depth. Good. Stenbitty. He was, he's my AHL carry at this point. So we're for sure keeping him around. One way, I don't care. He'll be in the minors. Tuomala. Oh. Yeah, that's easily variable. And a guy you can call up in a pinch. Jano. Can we risk one more year? We may have to let him go. Uh, obviously going to keep around Skilly and Kaltiain, and they're may they're likely going to be our top six this season. I don't like Skilly's. Neither of them are amazing, but fuck it. Yeah, your spam callers. We'll keep them both around. Yeah, on those prices, absolutely. Uh, Buckinger, he might be someone I let go of, depending. I don't even remember getting that guy. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, Bales needs to get signed. Hello. Possible Kyrie replacement. <laughs> Takashi could still become a daft piece. I do like. I honestly love the way he's built. So I want to see what he becomes. All right, that'll keep him RFA. So there we go. McNeil need to be signed. That's at least a couple guys. I know, I'm, I know I'm not looking at all expiring. I was <laughs> kind of seeing who the best players were to keep. So that's... Okay, Lutzer, got to sign him. So got to let go of some guys. Three forwards. Essentially, yeah. Or just three skaters. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna have to free up some space. Okay, I'm gonna let go of Buckinger, I think. Although, hmm, I'm gonna have some guys getting called up. Yeah, we're actually gonna be short on defensemen now. And have too many forwards. Which, whatever. I'll let the AI figure out the stupid depth. Uh, what are we looking at goaltender-wise? I would tender and trade Leanders, but he's not worth jack squat, so I probably won't even bother. We got Christensen, we have Vashinov. Yeah, I'm just going to let go of Leanders. Because if I tender him, he'll probably just accept again. And I'm a, I am going to hold on the Doshdal through this year. Because, he, again, he's a great, great backup plan. I'm actually kind of nervous about the backup situation. <laughs> I could tender leaders again. He probably just accepts how much is it. It's not much, so I can just sit him again, honestly. Yeah, I'm going to tender him. I know I want to keep bashing off probably just two, yeah, perfect, two years. Because we got two goalies, if we decide to keep one, which we likely won't. All right, let me advance. I actually might be maxed out. Of course you accept it, because I cheesed the system. I like how he says I'm not entirely thrilled with the role. Like, it's head coach. It's the, it's the top role you could get. <laughs> what do you want to be? GM? Fuck you. It's my job. 
Hell of a lot of scouts. Uh, someone rejected. I clicked through it too fast, but he had a picture. Uh, 48. Yeah, we need to get rid of some guys. So, I, Wierenski's just gone, huh? Yeah. We got our top four and Lindstein. Let go Orensky. That frees up a contract spot. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. So for looking what the teams... Who the hell's this Barnaby guy? Oh, yeah. I drafted him recently. Oh, Jesus. He's good. Unfortunately, he's also a DFD, which is Skilly's on the right side. Theoretically, play, yeah, Kaltiainen with Barnaby one on the offhand. It's not a big deal. Let's see what chemistries look like, but yeah. Or, you know. <laughs> we somehow managed to hold on to Lindstein once again. Yeah, we have a lot of defensemen. So, sign, that's seven right. Well, no, not. With Lindstein, that's six. Kaltiain and Skilly, no, that is seven. I did skip Lindstein. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, we actually don't have enough defensemen. But I'm not going to sign. The AHL is just going to have to suffer for it because I'm going to have too many players, and that'll help. That'll honestly create more injuries. We're going to let go of Buckinger and Donovan. He's solid depth, but we have Tucker for that still, who's not going anywhere. He's been great. Let go of Donovan as well. Is there even a forward I can get rid of? Not anyone I want to get rid of. Tw okay, so Twomola didn't accept. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. I, I might be able to get rid of Jano. Simply because... I don't want to. I'm ho- Ah... Uh, Wait, wait, wait. Who else was on that fourth line? Oh, yeah, you would have to. Mm. Inkfist. He needs to jump to be ready. He's a playmaker. Stajan was the other one. Yeah, so Stajan, Inkfist. Stajan played there last year, right? Inkfist needs to jump, but then we still, yeah, we still have Dvorsky. I think I signed Jano anyway. Yep. Just in case. Sign Jano anyway. It'll be our in case. Jano didn't like that price. That's okay, because we don't have to spend any money in for agency, so I can I can give him what he wants. What? Where is he? Work him up slow. So, Malo, why didn't you accept? Oh, you want like a nothing deal, don't you? All right, we'll have to get you up more than that, then it's going to be that. Come on, boys. Oh my god, I'm still getting scouts? <laughs> Jesus. We got Janelle and Tuomala. And we still have 10 mil to play with, and I don't even think we need it. Woof. Okay. Took a bit longer than I was thinking it would. Oh, hey, oh. We essentially have the nearly the right amount of players, even if they're not all the correct positions. Who cares? Up the free agency. <laughs> yeah, you just accepted his qualifying offer, which was like a million or something. There we go. We will. So yeah, well, we'll take a look at what's in free agency. Again, we have ten million to spend, but likely not going to spend it on anyone because nah. Eh. Could get Doc back, sure, but nah. Panarin, who's going to decline way, way too heavily. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Eh, not the greatest free agency class. We'll make some trades probably, but it'll likely be mid-season or at the deadline. Just to load up again. We're going to keep loading up. I'm going to keep going all in every single fucking year. Just to prove that this game is stupid if we never win the cup. 
<laughs> Straight up. If we keep getting cheesed and shit, like, yeah, we're just gonna... Whatever. Alright, extensions, because we do have a couple of those. Quincy being the main one. It's not a horrible deal. Considering Varlamov's only making five, which at this point, with a 102 mil cap system, that's essentially a third line contract. Now, he may not play third line. Quincy will probably still play third line. In which case, we could go shorter term, which we might do. Like six years, there's a four year in yeah, Misa and Thomas, or five year Shirakov. Shirakov's gonna probably be making the big bucks, so. What, five year extension or six? Yeah, four, five, or six, essentially, is the best bet. None of those keep him. As a RFA. Let's see what this price tag is. We'll see which deal seems better. Uh, this would be... 665. This would be like 6325. It's like a difference of 300k. So I'd I'd go for 6. Yep, it's under seven, <laughs> which is pretty incredible. Yep, right there. Six, 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 baby. Got him locked. Well, hopefully. Uh, Pelika is another huge, huge one. Yeah. Gonna have to wait on that, buddy. But he is in his prime. It's tougher, but we'll we'll be we should be able to get a pretty damn good deal for him. But 88 overall only, man. Why are you asking for that? Dickinson does not want to come back. You're full of crap. Okay, he's not exactly lying. We can do shorter term, and this is more what he should be making at this stage. Just over seven for three years. I still think I might be able to get a better deal. He's still RFA too, right? So we have the control. We'll hold off on Dickinson. We'll hold off on Belica. Uh, Doshdal doesn't want to come back. We're likely not going to keep him. We can't afford to keep him beyond this year, essentially. And what the hell would he even ask for? <laughs> yeah, no. Not happening. All right, so that will do it. Let me know what you guys think about our path moving forward. If you agree with I should just go crazy every single year, blow the value and the, you know, good good value picks, try to load up every year, just try to beat down the doors to the Stanley Cup. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.